Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Phillipsburg is being brought to you by the Garnet Booster Club. The state liners of Phillipsburg are putting out their Christmas list early as the student section is in full force for the semifinal matchup against Wayne Valley. We start in the second quarter as the Indians are punting to Phillipsburg. Macatel is back to field it and he muffs the punt. Jake DeLuccier jumps on the ball for the Indians as they regain possession inside the state liner 20 yard line. A few plays later on fourth and short, Moran shovel passes to DeLuccier and he is stopped. Bobby Corey with a great read and big hit from the linebacker position to halt the Indians and leave the first half scoreless. Three minutes left in the third quarter. Moran, play fakes, drops back, fires one down the middle, and it's caught by DeLuccier, putting the Indians inside the state liner 20. That sets up a one-yard touchdown run for Moran following the block of DeLuccier. Wayne Hills takes a 7-0 lead going into the fourth quarter. Last chance for Phillipsburg. Ben Rees drops back to pass, looks left, gets pressured, has to throw it up. Isaiah Craighead runs under it, but it falls to the turf incomplete. Wayne Valley seals the win and advances to the sectional finals. After the game, Tommy Moran explained what was needed to edge out tonight's close win. I knew coming out of halftime, either the first or second drive, we're going to have to make big plays, get a score in, get the momentum to on our side, so that's what we did. Once again, the final tonight, 7 to nothing in favor of Wayne Valley. They go on the road next week to face Old Tapan in the North Jersey Section 2 Group 4 Finals. From Phillipsburg, for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Kenneth Bradley.